I'm, I'm very bullish on, on China. China. China has four big economic challenges, but if you're really looking at the, the nature of its fundamentals uh, and the getting past those challenges, um, I'm, it, so here it is. The four challenges that, that it has um, is it has, a, it has to do a debt restructuring, it has to do an economic restructuring, it has to develop its capital markets, and it has to manage its balance of payments. Those are the four major challenges. Every country uh, in the world has had those. The United States had three major debt crises. We've had balance of payments challenges and all of those types of things. The real question on is, is it denominated in your own currency? Is the debt primarily denominated in your own currency? And do you know how to manage these things well? So what, what we're seeing in China is we're seeing effective move toward um, the debt, restruct debt restructurings. You're seeing, and we'll, after we pass the 19th People's Congress and so on, you're going to see more of that, um, that kind of move. There's a, a very impressive economic restructuring going on. The dealing, there's the old industries, the state-owned enterprises and those old industries, and there's the development, the fast development of wonderful new industries, cutting edge that are period, that are fantastic. Um, you know, when I went to China originally and started in 1984, I would bring a $10 calculator to them, and they thought that was like a miracle. And now I'm watching in terms of where they are in artificial intelligence and all of those things, and it's comparable to where we are and, and, I've, and, and for, 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 for very good reasons. So we're having an economic restructuring that's very effective. In terms of the capital markets development, Wow, I mean, the, uh, you know, link Hong Kong and the development of securities over the last few years, the ability really to develop the, the liquidity, the depth of those markets, the openness of those markets, extremely effective. And in terms of dealing with its balance of payments, it's dealing with its balance of payments effectively. And the reason it is is because they have capable leaders. I know the economic leaders, the people who are there. I know, you know, how well, what are their skill sets, and and how are they managing that, and they have you know an advantage in some respects in terms of the ability to control some of those things so um, so I'm very very impressed if you take a look at them their, their underlying fundamentals the education of their kids the um, this this move to um, at reform in other words reform means in other words becoming a much more market oriented economy to be, and also uh, rule of law uh, rule of law, eliminating corruption or reducing corruption. Look at the uh, incredibly impressive accomplishments there. I'm conf I feel good about the leadership of China, the capabilities, not only at the, uh, at the highest level, but also particularly on the economy. And then I'm, and I'm looking at that. So those are issues that, you know, they create little bumps along the way. I think people misunderstand China because um, these problems existing, does uh, a lot of people thought were problems that are going to mean be terrible terrible for, for China, but they don't understand essentially the engineering. And, the, and you, you have to look back and say that it's been an impressive track record consistently, really, since um, Deng Xiaoping came to power, right? And it was very similar. Deng Xiaoping was quite similar to, um, uh, let's say, a, a capitalist, okay? Um, if you say, who, who, who's had the quote, it's glorious to be rich. That was Deng Xiaoping as they brought it to, to China, and that's that's continued in terms of creating that type of, um, and and the political risks are not, not high political risks, so they have to build rule of law. Anyway, I'm answering the question too long, but I'm I'm bullish on uh, China and its capabilities. Um, uh, they will have to change. The economy is no longer going to be the cheap, uh, cheaply produced things, but that's okay because they'll have the capacity to do that. Anyway, over to you.